For Salman, what did you make of the judges' um, decision in the Fury Wilder fight? Do you think it was a bit of corruption? What do you think it was? What, you know, do you think they, they you know, gave the decision to the politically more connected fighter because most people had Fury winning that yeah, fight? Yeah, yeah, it was. You got to realize that although Wilder got a couple of knockdowns, he he didn't he didn't do enough to win that fight, even with the two knockdowns and even boxing's all time greats, the likes of I'm talking about Andre Ward, Hall of Fame fighters. Floyd Mayweather, Lennox Lewis, all these top, top fighters that fight for, have fought, have even said that Fury won that fight. Even Mayweather was clearly saying uh, Deontay Wilder. And there's no one in the world that knows more than, about boxing than Mayweather. And Mayweather said it's 5 0 to 2. To, to. Yeah, it's about Arab opinions. I wouldn't go as far as saying, oh, no one. Yeah, fair enough. I know Mayweather. But if Mayweather's saying something, it's usually. That's and, and, fact. and the other thing is that Mayweather is talking against his American fighter. Exactly, right? exactly, exactly. And even May, even even uh, Mayweather said that he's just banking on a right hand. But the judging was, in my opinion, the Mexican judge. He should never be. He should never. I don't think he should ever be a judge ever again. I think he should be fired. To be honest, I think the judging is too lenient. I think what they need to do now, if they if a judge makes a a mass like a massive error. They should be they should be fired, man. They should be fired and never ever being being allowed be allowed to judge ever because 111 to Deontay Wilder. That's a joke. That is an absolutely joke. Even Paulie Malinaji says that guy should be fired. He shouldn't ever be a judge again. I don't know who he is, but with in this fight they should have had the best judges out there, and it just goes to show that the Mexican judge. I don't know what they gave him, how many dollars they gave him, but it was definitely enough for him to. Do what he did, and I'm surprised with the. You got to realize when I was listening to the scorecards, Phil Edwards was the last one, and I thought Fury's got it because he's a British British judge, so Fury's won. And we, I genuinely thought because Phil Edwards was the last judge, and it was it was on him who who won the fight. I thought, yeah, F uh, Wilder's uh, Fury's won, but then when I had one thirteen, one thirteen, I was just like, oh bloody not this again. It just goes to show that. Even Phil Edwards might have got, you know. I think it's corruption. I can't see. I can't see a way that fight was a draw. I just can't see it. How he seen that? How how he seen that fight a draw? And you got to realize this is Phil Edwards. He's a he's a Plus, British judge. The grounds weren't as if they were close. They were exactly, quite one sided. Exactly, exactly. They were quite. And you got to realize even Fury's right. You know, even in the rounds that, for example, the the the, the, the I think it was the seventh or eighth round. He, uh, Wilder dropped him. Right. Ninth round. Ninth round. Right. You gotta realize Fury probably did enough in that round to make it a ten nine round. If you, if I was to be honest, it wasn't a ten eight round that round because we don't know whether that 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 punch was around the back of the head, whether it was a slip or what. It didn't seem like a flush punch where he would get knocked down from it. I think it was a back behind the head shot. But you have to realize that the judging was absolutely it was disgraceful. I don't know. Certainly the Mexican judge and even the UK judge. I think they both need sacking because. For them to see a fight like that and make it that, you got to realize whether the fight is won by nine rounds or one round, the, the fight should go to the right guy. And Deontay Wilder didn't win tonight. It's as simple as that. He got, sorry, uh, Tyson Fury won the fight and Deontay Wilder did not win. I can't, there's no case, even Deontay Wilder knows it deep down in his heart that he lost. He lost that fight today. He got lucky and people aren't really saying anything about it, but. <laughs> It needs to change now, and I think now Deontay Wilder has to come to the UK. I don't care because you got to realize it's not fair all the time. Brits, even Lennox Lewis tweeted that you know it's very hard for a Brit to go over to America and get a decision because it said it happened with him and Evander Holyfield. So it, that's just how it is when you come to America. You got to realize that America pays out a lot of money to, and you got to realize these promoters figure out who want, who they want judging. You know. So, it is what it is, but it just needs to change. Boxing's always going to be like this. Top pundits like Jim Lampley were so really angry about it. They were like, these boxers train so hard not, not to get robbed, you know. And Deontay Wilder is a very, 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 very lucky man to keep his WBC title. And just, I'm just proud of Fury, really. <sighs> All right, guys, there, we thought that, you know, the judges were corrupt. Uh, not corrupt, but we thought their decision was terrible. Uh, whether they were on the take, no, who knows that. But leave your thoughts, guys, and guys, remember to please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. We'll see you guys in the next video.